Hey guys, so today I am testing out a new drawing tablet. It is the Veek A30 pen tablet that was sent to me for a review. If you are new to this channel, you should know that I am a newbie to digital art. So I will be comparing this to the Huyan H420 graphics tablet that I had purchased in May because I know no other way to explain this better to you guys. So first I use this with the Medibang app using Windows 10. Check the compatibility because this would not work on my Chromebook. They do not have the downloadable software from their website that works with the Linux operating system. The size of this tablet is a 6x10 compared to the Huyan that I had got that is a 4x6. And that, right off the bat, made a huge difference for me because I prefer big drawing surface or work area. And the 4x6 was really difficult for me to really just get used to. If you're used to that or if your hand-eye coordination is just really good, then I don't think this will really matter that much. But I do prefer and recommend a larger drawing surface, regardless if it's traditional or digital. The pressure sensitivity felt the same also, and it wasn't until after the drawing that I bothered to look up on how to get rid of my shaky lines for inking. And after research and some off-camera practice when I was finished, I figured out that I should have just stuck with the pencil brush and the correction set to a higher number than what I had, which I believe most of the time was about an 8. Now with the stylus, I will say that the Veek takes the lead here because it doesn't need batteries and it does not need to be recharged. And for somebody who doesn't use digital art as often, that is a huge plus for me. That's something I really don't want to have to think about and that I probably won't be mindful of anyway because if I need to use digital art for something, it's most likely going to be something that's really going to be convenience for me and not a full piece. The Veek is also really lightweight for its size and it has four shortcut buttons on the tablet itself and it has two on the stylus. Considering that I am new to digital art, I really didn't want to have to think about the tablet and the Veek actually took care of that for me. I didn't have to think about what I was doing with it. I didn't program it for the shortcuts because I just like I said, I'm trying to learn and I don't mind learning the hard way or taking a little bit longer. That way it'll just kind of stick with me more. But because the tablet uh, operated so well, I didn't have to think about it so much and I didn't have to worry about its performance. I was really able to focus on the artwork and trying to make sure I was learning something about the digital world and using the correct keys that I needed to or just learning the terminology in general. So I really do enjoy and appreciate that. The tablet for it being so large and such a lower cost compared to competitors that it really didn't skip on me or it didn't do anything where I had to kind of figure the tablet out in the middle of my drawing. Customer service was great too. I was able to email and they got right back to me in a short amount of time. They were really friendly. So, I mean, that's to me, that's a big plus. I don't want to have to deal, again, with a hassle of something else that's outside of me that I can't control. So overall, you know, between the brand and the tablet itself, I do recommend this. Uh, it's, I think it's great for the what you're paying. Um, it's $10 more than the Huyan, the smaller one, but again, it's bigger and there's more shortcut keys than the other one too. So I think the $10 difference in American dollars really does make it worth your while. So just real quick about the drawing. This is the character from my webcomic Metropolis that I have not kept up with just because of traveling and conventions. But he works at the coffee shop that Tam ran into when she was out running the ninjas from another story. He is from a separate story and this is where the dialogue kind of picks up. I just wanted to kind of get a rough idea of how I wanted him to look and I didn't have a problem with sketching out what I needed or really coloring but when I was trying to digitally ink this it was really difficult for me and my 
my lines were really shaky and I was just having a tr like a hard time just kind of figuring out how to get those smoother lines and you know I had to do I did research after the fact when I should have done it before but I figured out what I needed to do for next time so I'll feel a little bit more confident going into a character design so this one to me really does just look kind of amateurish since it kind of is amateurish as far as digital art is concerned but you know with the coloring I really wanted to keep it extremely basic because if it's going to be online and if I were to color it digitally, I really don't want to have to think about that part either. Um, but overall, I really liked sketching him out and coming up with different um, positions and kind of styles for his face. I, I enjoyed this whole process and the whole review for this tablet. Overall, I'm okay with the piece. I am much happier with the performance of the tablet than I am with the finished drawing piece. But, you know... That just comes with the learning process, I think. But I will definitely be practicing with this one more and bringing this one with me on the road more because I, I want to do more research and try to figure this out. And I think that this tablet will do that for me. So, of course, I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out the specifics and any other information that this tablet has or contact customer service because, like I said, they were great and friendly. And if you have any questions for them, I'm sure that they'll be happy to answer them for you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.